Hello again. You're back with the toad. We haven't got um, the puppy with us now. She's gone and laid on the sofa. She's eating one of the cushions, I think. So while she's quiet, I'll leave her alone. Let's get this ball out of the way. There. Okay. So, where was I? Um, I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Going through these. Right. Um, oh yeah. The knife I always take out of me when I go out. It's always with me, very close. The, the only little Swiss Army knife I've got. But I won't be without it. It's, it's very, very useful. Got a very sharp little knife. You get your nail file. Little screwdriver, I don't know if that would work, but you've got a nice little nail file. I know, very, very useful. Little pair of uh, scissors. Not forgetting the uh, toothpick and the um, toothpick and the uh, tweezers. So yeah. I don't know if I'd go to the trouble of buying a bigger one, but this one is definitely uh, work worth working. Worth. Worth working, well, it's worth, it spends its money, I spent on it. It's paid for itself, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say, I think. Right, anyway, so, there we are. Put that out of the way. So, uh, also, I've uh, started um, carving again. I've been, uh, just had that a sudden purge of energy all of a sudden, which is unusual, but, yeah, don't knock it. So, anyway, this is... Uh, Oh, this is what I've been doing over the last couple of days. You wouldn't believe how big a piece of wood this started out to be. Can't get it in focus, but never mind. So, yeah, it's got to, I've got to put a pin on it. It's going to be some sort of uh, hanging, like on a necklace type thing. But yeah, I quite like it. Yeah. I say, while the mood's there, I'll do it. Because it goes away so quickly when I get ill. I mean, it really is amazing how quickly it happens. It's, um, I would, I, can, I can't compare it to, say, depression. That's different. That kind of can sometimes happen and slowly. But with this, I can be reasonably okay one minute, and next minute, I'm like a weak kitten in the corner. I've got no energy. It's just gone. You know, the doctors are... On top of it, I'm, uh, I've changed my meds again recently, and this new version of medication seems to be doing the job, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm at the doctor's tomorrow for a blood test, see how things are going, and hopefully, I might have cracked it this time. So, anyway, so that's that, I've been done that, and I'll show you what I've been doing it with. Let's see, it's the Rough Rider Belly, Swole Belly. I think it's called Strawberry uh, Whitler. This is lovely. I've had this for uh, a while and it's really good. It really is. I've not had to resharpen it. I, I do strop it quite a lot, but it's kept its edge so far. D2 steel, if I remember right. Yeah, it says so there. D2. So you get this main main blade here, which is definitely worth having. It's got a good thickness, good strong, good strong blade. Uh, this is a very, very good little blade. It's surprising what you can do with it when it comes to fine cutting, like a razor blade, if you like, on the edge. It is just brilliant. It is really good. And then you also get a substantially uh, decent sized um, pen blade on it. And on its own, this will do pretty much everything. Again, fantastic edge. Just struck it. Can't be beaten. But yeah, I would recommend these. I don't know where you're buying them from now. But it's, uh, at the time, it was the most expensive knife I had. But it's definitely paid for itself. Yeah, it's the Rough Rider, Swole Belly, Whitler. There you are. Um, right, I'll put you out of your way. So, uh, what's this video going to be? Oh, I remember now. Uh... Right, Unsung Heroes. This is um, bigger knives, 
medium sized, not quite hunters, um, but just medium sized knives that I think don't get enough recognition. So, first off, we have this Rough Rider um, coal miner. These are mostly, these are lockbacks. Must be hunky. There we are, give this a bit of a wipe. Yeah, handsome knife. I can't say I've used it, especially for anything. It just, it's nice knife and it, uh, I don't doubt it would be uh, worth having and using. Like I said, it's one of those unsung heroes. I mean, unless you collect the coal miner range, in which case you would have this. I've got a few in the, uh, I've got four, I think, of the coal miner range. But yeah. The um, fake bone handles, I don't know if it's plastic, I don't actually know. But it's nice. It looks good and it works. Brass liners. Looks, no, there's no stop or anything on this. It's just stiff. But yeah, it is. It's uh, it's all right. Don't think you can fault this. I don't think I'll ever let you down. Next up, let's close this one up. Is this one, which is the uh, Ica. Rubber handle, Sweden. I've had this for quite a while, and it does its job. Sandvik twelve C, twelve C two seven steel. It's got a very good edge on it. So it's a rubber rubber handle. Steel liners, nice finish on it, feels fantastic in hand, it's a really good one. If you were working on a ship or boat, or just as a fisherman's knot and you can get wet, this is the one to have, it's it's alright, there's nothing wrong with this at all. Decent edge, decent knife, just it stopped. I'd say again, I've not really used this one, I've used it for a few things, chopping up a few boxes that I was at it, a few hostile boxes that needed dispatching. Yeah, lovely. Not again, not a huge amount of money. But finally, oops, we have this. Let me put it back in focus. This Russian knife, which I've had for again for quite a while. I did have all the details some point and I don't anymore. Um, I think it's named after a gun if I remember right. It's classed as a hunting knife in Russian with the company that makes these. I'm sure it's named after a gun if I'm sure that's the case. I can't remember properly but it's got a lovely handle on it. It's actually the longest of the uh, folding knives that I have. Locks up really well. It is a very sharp knife. It's a very sharp blade. I can't what steel it is either, but it's, it's not a bad steel. It's very sharp. Feels wonderful in the hand. And they say, I, I say the way it's here, it's, you, you know, you, you can hold it. If I say this is a hunting knife. What's well, sold as a hunting knife? I mean, just a general all round knife, this is uh, does the job. Isn't that lovely? So if you only can read Russian, I don't know if that's a brand name. I did know, and I just can't remember now. Essentially a one lander. I just cut my finger, my hand again. I've not scratched it. No, that fit out. Cut my finger. Didn't off, please. I got it bandaged up now. There we go. Yeah, one hander knife. Yeah, of the of those, 
I think this is the best one. I say it's a forgotten hero. I've never seen anybody else in the community talking about it, but I am, and there you are. So we've got this one. We got the Rough Rider, and we got the Swedish Ika. There we are. Right, that's it for this one. I shall see you at the next video. Bye for now, my friends.